Hi YouTube, I'm Corey from ID Parts and welcome to the first ever episode of Ask ID Parts. How this will work, if you send us a question to sales at idparts.com, we'll answer it in a video. For our first ever video, a customer of ours asked, what is a vented fender liner and do I need it? Well, this is a vented fender liner. Um, unlike the factory style fender liner, it has these slanted vents on the front side of that. These vents are gonna line up right behind the side mounted intercooler and improve flow. To understand how this works, let's take a look at the side mounted intercooler on this 03 Jetta TDI. The side mounted intercooler on the Mark IV Jetta and Golf TDI is located on the passenger side right behind this lower grill in the bumper. You can see it right back there. It's got a shroud around it and the air is going to come through here, be directed by the shroud right into the intercooler. Once it enters the intercooler, it'll cool down the uh, air intake or the intake air temperature, and then it's gonna come through here and run into this, a completely solid piece of plastic. Let's rip this out of the way because all it's doing is getting in the way of the air. With that out of the way, we can see that the side mount intercooler is located right here and that the air is gonna come out of here and all that plastic was doing was getting in the way of the air getting out. Let's put in the vented fender liner and see how that looks. Now, with the vented version of the fender liner in place, you can see that the vents line up right behind where that intercooler was. That's gonna help get the air out and keep the air going th uh, through the intercooler as efficiently as possible. Question is, do you need this? Well, it's kinda up to you. The OEM factory intercooler system's not too bad, even without the vented fender liner. And uh, as long as you're not in high altitudes doing towing, and if you probably don't have too many power modifications, your intercooler is not gonna be close to being quote unquote heat soaked. If you do have power modifications, you're running more boost, or you do a lot of towing, or you're uh, high, you know, in the high altitudes where your turbocharger is going to be working harder, that's going to put more stress on the intercooler and, on the, and raise the uh, intake air temperature. So putting a vented fender liner in may help you uh, quite a bit. Anyway, that's it for this question. Again, if you've got a question, send us an email, sales at idparts.com, and we'll do our best to make a video. We're trying to turn them around in about seven days after you ask them, um, but keep them coming, and we appreciate it. Thanks as always for watching and take care, bye bye.